How is everything going, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, thanking you for stopping by and watching the GTA San Andreas videos that I've been putting out. If you've noticed, I have been putting out videos uh, four times a week for the past couple of months, if I'm timing this out correctly. And the reason I'm doing such a huge amount of putting out videos is GTA San Andreas is a pretty extensive game and the amount of videos I produced, if I kept up at just my two a week, I would be into April or May by the time I ended up finishing everything, even longer. And I decided, yeah, I mean, by now, um, if things are worked out, I have a new um, Xbox Series X. If not, well, I'll still be doing some Xbox 360 stuff because I can continue recording and maybe doing some other different uh, stuff as far as GTA San Andreas goes or maybe GTA other videos. But I digress. And right now, um, I've been doing, like I said, posting about four times a week. And yeah, it's kind of been fun sticking to the schedule. And so I will continue to do so, or should continue to do so, because I make these videos uh, pretty much, I uh, play about two or three missions, and I can edit together videos pretty quickly. I'm good at it. And it's fun producing videos. Anyway, again, I thank you for viewing. If you like this type of video, um, subscribe. I will continue to put out as much as I can. If you just like this video, hit the like button. Now, this miss mission is the one which is available to CJ after he has taken over Mad Dog's crib. And I didn't enter it until now because it's a mission given to CJ by Torino and it's a pretty extensive mission. It's also kind of crazy too. This is called Vertical Bird and let's get on with the mission. Come you please leave yourself alone? Come on. Here? Come on. Oh, fuck. Oh, you mate, mongrel. Oh, sonny. You shouldn't be choking the gecko in the first place. Remember what happened to that gig in Amber? That groupie loved it. That wasn't a groupie. That was a roadie. But she had great tits. Man tits. They were man tits. Hey, what happened? Hey, what the sound's that? I don't know, bruv. It all just went. You fucking shite, you RP. I can't be held responsible for dodgy gear, all right? Come on, keep it together, man. You can't fuck with his flow. Finally, I thought I'd never get through to you. What the f... What's Torino, this? is that you? What's happening here? Torino? Listen, you gotta pull one last string. Hold up, mate. Look, okay? hold up one second. Communists at the gate, Carl. I'm tired of this, Torino. I'm outside. Let's take a ride. Now I'm hearing things. Fuck me. Oh, hey, I gotta on. get out of here. You got this? Hey, dog. I gotta go hit a marketing meeting. I'm gonna catch you later. All right, Monet, go, sunshine. Yeah, sweet ass. Come on. You having that, Mac? You having that? I'm gonna die in the eye of the storm. That's my destiny. Well, no invite to the housewarming, huh, kid? I knew you'd come anyway. Yeah, well, that's not important right now. I'll bring you up to speed on the way. Get in.
How long is this going to take? I got my own shit to worry about. Would you like to see your brother this week? Yeah, what can I do? You just got to steal a military jet off an amphibious assault ship and use it to destroy a flotilla of spy ships. Nothing big. Oh, man, you shitting me. When I shit you, Carl, there's a boat. All the gear you'll need is on board. I'll keep you briefed as you go. I ain't coming back from this one, am I? Yes, you are. Don't be ridiculous. Here, take this earpiece. Trust me, do as I say. You'll be home for a blowjob and a bologna sandwich. Take your time and let me love you good. in the Easter Basin Naval Base. It's that aircraft carrier that has been in the uh, Easter Basin Naval Base for a long time. And what you gotta do is swim aboard it and steal a fighter jet. Real simple, right? Sneak in the back without being seen. Once you're on the inside, I cannot help you. Well, can you help me now? Uh, well, no. Actually, no. Okay, this involves some swimming, so as we learned in Amphibious Assault, we have to redefine the controllers to invert look on in order to successfully swim. And let's get CJ wet. Now that CJ is aboard, uh, he has to be real sneaky about what he does. Otherwise, the alarm goes off and it becomes extremely difficult for CJ to navigate. Now, now that you're aboard, get into sneak mode and then flip the controllers back to turn inverted look off. And now you can sneak normally and fire normally and use the silenced pistol to um, take down anyone who might interfere with you. And as you can see, one soldier is leaving, another guy is driving the forklift. He pops out, shoot this sh soldier, and get this guy before he hits the alarm. Again, if he hits the alarm, it's going to be far more difficult, and you'll have to switch to the M4. Now, as you sneak about, keep a lookout for anyone armed or soldiers or anything. You got to come up these stairs and, again, be very careful. You don't have to go up the next flight of stairs. Just through this hallway area and you should be fine. The next door over is leading to the jet fighters. And I'm going to show you something um, a little bit different because you also want to turn off some automated defenses before you fly that jet fighter. Now, this guy, you take him down, and I've been detected by the guards, so switch to the M4. And this is where you're going to just firefight the guards. And you come down here first and there's a guy landing that Harrier right there that jump jet that you're gonna one of them you might steal you shoot him and you flip to the rocket launcher and you should destroy at least one of the jets because then you have less people tailing you once you steal the jet now you gotta run over here 
There's one more guard you have to take down. And at the far end here, if you run into this hallway again, through this area, and you see that red marker, you also see the yellow dot on the map in the lower circle in the lower left. That is to turn off automated air defenses, which would be used against you. And now that those are shut down, you can steal one of the jets. And again, you blew one up. But you don't want to blow the other one up because, well, it's too close and it will kill you. And you could probably just get away. There's going to be two fighter jets that follow you. If you didn't blow up the one jet, you would have had a third jet following you. Now, the controls on this are a little difficult, and you got to use the right joystick to control the engines and the other joystick to um, basically move the jet around. Now, in order to control the engines, again, you use the right joystick to level them up or bring them down. And then, once you get the jet flying, they're going to send other jets after you. And you got to fight them. Plus, you got to blow up some terrorist ships. So, I'm going to leave the flying around a little bit and uh, stop talking here because now I got everything in control. Did you hear that? Repeat, 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 repeat. They're not a bunch of bullshit. Ignore them. They should have you with an international incident. You're not a British tank. You should be fine. For real? Yeah, well, probably. Now make your way to the flotilla and save the fuckers. As you can tell, it's a little difficult to fly this thing and try and target the jets and everything else. I'm just shooting rockets here at random and dropping some chain for anti-countermeasures, etc. I'm beginning to think my own, the real danger is my own flying here. And as I'm, yep, flying through the woods and smashing the jet, that's kind of bad flying. But, I'm going to try and take these jets down and try and find the flotilla that uh, Torino wants me to take down. And once I get to the flotilla, if I can, I'll explain to you how you can take them down. You're better off just heading toward the flotilla and not messing with the other jets. They don't follow you and they don't harass you after a little bit. So... I'm going to head toward the flotilla and try and take those down, then try and take the other jets down. Okay, now I got the target locked on the flotilla, and I'm firing missiles, and I should be taking them down. And I kind of spin around here, and again, the enemy jets or should I say the other jets do not follow me. And I'm going to try and spin around and get it reoriented and then drop the engines down to stabilize the airplane and allow forward momentum to kind of carry me around to take the flotilla down and also bring the jet down closer to the ground so I can see what's going on and yeah I'm gonna drop the engines down here and try and stabilize things because yeah this is a ah, wow I just destroyed an enemy jet for some reason but I'm gonna take down the flotilla and you can see them once the targets locked in red you just fire missiles and you destroy the spy ships there's now three remaining and two remaining and you see that one it's going to be gone and now you've got all the ships destroyed 
and like I said, I want to stabilize the um, jet, and now it's back to the enemy jet fighter and try and take him down. The enemy fighter is gone, and now I got to get this thing back to the uh, Verdant Meadows airfield where I can park it. And now you'll have this um, jump jet available to you anytime. And naturally, Trino just kind of, what? I don't know nothing about this, huh? Not my fault. So, yeah, I mean, I'll admit, at least Trino pays. So, I'm going to fast forward to where I get this thing landed, and it's a pain to deal with. Well, the sad part is once you bring this thing in and you get it touched down, you kind of got to get it in there to where it stops moving and once you get it to where it stops moving and it's in the red circle then you can move on to the next part and yeah as you can see this is not very easy because the jump jet is very touchy and very how shall i say responsive and once you get it rolling, it tends to roll. And this thing is a pain in the butt to finally, hopefully, maybe, no, this is, uh, yeah, finally. Now i got to guide the plane into the hangar. Yeah, again, this thing is extremely touchy. And it doesn't help that I'm a little afraid to uh, kind of wreck this thing and have to start this whole damn mission over so i'm gonna bring it over here and hopefully eat up some of the momentum yeah i got it stopped and i'm just gonna gently 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 feather it in to the final final part of this and that is just getting it into the red in the hangar and then it's permanently here. The Hydra will now always be available in this hangar. And 50,000. Awesome. I'm going to get CJ some body armor here and run over to where the body armor is and then save the game. This mission called Vertical Bird is now over. And I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As always, thanks for stopping by.